I'm joined by Mud Yusof, who's a principal investigator. He manages studies here at Chapel Allerton. Hi, Yus. Hello. So tell me a bit about your role and what it involves. Uh, I'm now a principal investigator of, uh, of several trials involved with the day-to-day -day running of the trial, uh, but your role is changing slightly uh, to more managerial uh, uh, role uh, where you manage your team and you make sure you take uh, the oversight that the trial will be run smoothly. So overseeing the running of the trial at this site here at Chapel Allerton? Yes, correct. Yeah. So your role, you said it become a bit more managerial and you have this overview of the whole research project but do you, do you actually get to see participants as well? Yes, I do. Yeah, I think it's one of the things that uh, why I'm you know, uh, involved in the research because uh, you do have interaction with the patients uh, and you see their journey during the trials. So are there any issues or concerns that participants raise when they're taking part in research? Um, so usually the participants would like to know in more details about the studies uh, and uh, they would like to have uh, information that they can understand easily Mm -hmm. So usually uh, we do give them uh, the participant information leaflets where before they participate in the study, patients also uh, wonder whether uh, after the study uh, is completed, uh, what uh, is going to happen to their, their treatment. Uh, so uh, a lot of patients worry that uh, maybe they will be back discharged back to their GP uh, general practitioner with no follow-up. Uh, however, this is usually explained uh, you know, to the patient uh, that usually uh, the patient will still remain under the care of, uh, of specialties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, and lastly, a uh, patient also wonder, you know, after several months of their participation in the trial, what happened to their results. So I think this is also one key aspect uh, that all the research also need to, uh, you know, uh, be reminded that, you know, uh, we should really uh, uh, present our results, uh, not just in paper publication, but also uh, to, to the patient themselves.